Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my customized Elite Series 2 Xbox controller that I ordered um, through Microsoft. Um, I did it through the Xbox Design Lab. Anyway, um, so I already had one, uh, the previous uh, Elite controller, but I've had this for about five years now, and uh, everything works fine on it. It's just cosmetic issues. Uh, I got some good use out of it, so yeah. Uh, it was about time for a new one, and yeah, so... I bought me one. It came in this box, which is pretty cool for me. It's, it's a better box than uh, the original box that mine came in. And I designed it and they built it for me. So let's open it. I did uh, get the engravings on it just to add. More, more flair to it. Plus, if you're gonna customize something, you might as well just go, go on and get what you want. So yeah, that's the inside of the box. And I only did the controller because I already had the carrying case from my previous one, and never really need the carrying case. And I didn't get the extra attachment buttons because I could still use these from my previous one to. If I want to like change anything out and uh, put it on the one I customized. And I don't even use these because, uh, yeah, I don't even use them. I just don't use them. So this is what it looks like inside of the box. I did the orange, red, and purple. Up of it, it kind of like gives me a like Hulk vibes. I like the metallic purple on it for the bumpers, red back, and the engravement. Yeah, uh, the box. It should have came with the charging cable, but I already have a charging cable. I guess I I use that one for like if I'm sitting at the computer or something. But yeah, this is the charging cable. It has the fabric around the actual cable, which is just not plastic. So if you're like bending or you got crazy wiring going all over the place I don't know you set up and uh, this is the thumbstick adjustment tool um, you can use this to tighten up the thumbsticks on your controller you just uh, you just pop these off and you can insert the tool inside the thumbstick and it tightens or loosens the thumbstick up depending on how you want to do your uh, your gaming or you know the tightness of it or the looseness however you prefer you can uh, tighten or loosen it with, with this but I also already have this in the in my old controller that came with that so yeah um I really don't like how the color is showing up because it's it's different in person so I'm gonna take like better pictures of it and upload that too so you guys can clearly see the color and um, I did the back in red so yeah and actually since everything is like interchangeable like everything like pops off I can take the pieces from my previous controller and put it on my new one and it's kind of like a whole new controller it just gives it another look and I put these pieces on my older one which I'm 
not gonna use, but just showing you guys what it looked like. So yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. And for the D-pad, I also have the regular D-pad button. So, and it's all magnetic, so it just sticks right to it. You don't have to worry about anything falling out. And it actually makes clicking sound. So it's a strong magnetic component to the controller so you don't have to really worry about losing the pieces the only issue that I do have with it is like the I guess you call them legs or whatever the arms that you can attach to it these they do easily come out so yeah but I don't use them anyway so that's just one one issue but I guess if if you use them I guess you just got to be cautious of if they fall out and where and like all the pieces are like solid metal so uh, you definitely get your money's worth and for this controller with the engravings I pay $169 for it and the shipping was free so yeah uh, so the body of it is the velocity green with the rubberized grip I got the back the post red the bumpers and triggers are called a uh, astral purple uh, the d-pad is also the same purple the thumbstick base I got it a carbon black I did uh, the toppers in the blaze orange uh, the thumbstick rings this Charlie from that freaking ball throw and the post rate also and then I did the uh, view menu and share buttons in the post red uh, and the engraving and I just put a gamer tag on it which is a uh, mink archer so yeah um, I'm gonna take better pictures of it and attach it to the video and that way you guys can get a clear view of it um so yeah if you want to hold on yeah i unplugged this should look at me so like i was about to say if you want to customize any controller of your xbox controller you could do that it doesn't have to be an elite controller it could be the basic controller you can and i think those started like sixty dollars or something like that but yeah i'm not really sure about the price but yeah if you don't want to purchase an elite controller and customize it you can customize a regular controller that comes with the xbox and you can do it however you want whatever color you can also do the option of picking one that's already on there but i don't really see the point of doing that if you're going to customize the controller you might as well just get the colors that you want or you know the colors that you want may already be on a controller and you know that's probably easier but yeah I guess but um I feel like if you're gonna customize something just do it how you want and get what you want pay for what you want and do what you want for your controller for your preference for your gaming for yourself so yeah um that pretty much wraps up this video um let me know what you think about the controller. Let me know what would you do with your controller, your colors. How would you customize it? And uh, if you think it's cool or not. Uh, so yeah, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the bell so you can subscribe. So you get all the notifications when I post another video. And uh, thanks for the support. And I'm out.